Digest calls Riata one of the best buys in domestic cars. Riata by Buick. The competition pales by comparison. People have always told me I should travel more. My fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Crowley. Go to the principal's office, McLean. My high school football coach. Take two laps, Stevenson. Glory, my college sweetheart. Get lost, McLean. Oh, well. Now Piedmont Airlines has going places prices. Really low fares to over 170 cities. Call Piedmont or your travel agent now. I think I'll visit Mrs. Crowley. I thought I told you to go to the principal's office. Good afternoon, basketball fans. I'm Jim Shepard, and welcome to the Assembly Hall, home of the Fighting Illini. Here are the starting lineups for today's Big Ten Conference game between the Michigan Wolverines and the University of Illinois. For Michigan at forward, a 6'7'' senior from Flint, Michigan, number 41, Glenn Wright. For the Illini at forward, a 6'6'' junior from Chicago, number 25, Nick Anderson. The other forward position for the Wolverines, a 6'10 junior from Romulus, Michigan, number 52, Terry Mills. For the Illini at forward, a 6'6 senior from Aurora, Illinois, number 33. For Michigan, a 6'7 junior from Rosemont, Illinois, number 20, Mike Griffin. For the Illini at center, a 6'7 senior from Chicago, number 45, Lowell Hamilton. For Michigan at a guard position, a 6'2 junior from Cambridge. Massachusetts, number 21, Rumiel Robinson. For the Illini at a guard spot, a 6'4 junior from Madison, Illinois, number 13, Kendall Gill. The guard spot for the Wolverines, a 6'9 sophomore from Los Angeles, number 24, Sean Higgins. For the Illini at guard, a 6'6 junior from Carbondale, Illinois, number 35, Stephen Bardo. Michigan is coached by Bill Frieder, the Illini by Lou Henson. We'll return after these messages from your local stations. Kodak battery. Depend on us to last longer. 
don't worry. At Charlie Club, you can look better, feel better, and it's easy as one, two, three. Follow my unique, proven eat and exercise program. And join me now at one of our six Charlie Clubs, open 24 hours. Or try a weekend fitness retreat. So stop in for your free copy of Manage to be Fit and see for yourself. Hurry. Charlie! Join Charlie Club now. Half price membership sale ends January 20th. The look at today's starting lineups brought to you by Buick and the change for Michigan. Mike Griffin starting on the front line and Coach Freeder's message to Lou Henson was, hey, tell Lou I'm starting the smaller lineup. Mike Griffin in place of uh, Mark Hughes. And for Illinois, fighting a line I, Nick Anderson, Kenny Battle, very active. Low Hamilton handles the ball well around the basket. Nice cut. Kendall Gill, a skilled three-point shooter. Steve Bardo has been outstanding as a point guard. The uh, change for Michigan, as you take a look at the uh, series history, the change for Michigan with Griffin gives them a little bit more quickness. And Griffin is the kind of player that acts somewhat like the glue to a team. He's very solid. He's not going to make mistakes. And I think in a ball game where you expect uh, a, a lot of up-tempo play, uh, you need some more stability uh, in the lineup. Bill Robinson is the Big Ten official here. Joe Tomlinson and Jerry Menz are substituting at the moment. Two other officials are on their way, but have been held up by the inclement weather. Michigan in the dark uniform to the tap controlled by Illinois. The home whites. This is Steve Bardo, picked up right away by Ramil Robinson. Set the defense for you. You can see Michigan picked up in the man-to-man. -man. That's their preferred defense. They'll play at 75% of the time. Well, Hamilton travels. First turnover of the ball game. How do you see the keys of today's game, the simple keys, Steve? The real simple keys for Michigan is Ramil Robinson has to play a great ball game. He's going to be the one responsible for breaking the pressure, and more importantly, when he gets it across half court, he's either going to have to take it to the basket and score or set it back up and get his team uh, running their half-court offense. Coach Frater's been concerned with his guard play. Really, they're having trouble replacing Gary Grant. Certainly, that's a big challenge for any program. Rice inside, and the Big Ten's leading scores on the board. Well, you see, that is Glenn Rice's biggest improvement. He's a great shooter, as good a shooter as there is in the country. His improvement this year offensively is he now can go inside and shoot that little jump hook. Foul coming up on Michigan on Ramil Robinson, his first personal. That is the first on the team. Well, probably seems like a little bit of a touch foul knowing how physical uh, play is normally allowed to get in this league. Illinois on the attack, early going. Almost a minute gone by. First half, Michigan leading 2 0. Nick Anderson can hit it from there. Terry Mills up high for the board, but threw it away. Anderson, offensive. Well, that's always the tough call. Anytime a player's going to the basket, uh, the, 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 foul that was, the foul that was missed was the one underneath the basket. When Mills got the rebound, he could push right there in the back. That's often one that you'll get away with because the official there was blocked out uh, by Mills and couldn't see the hand in the small of the back. Uh, that's just a tough call right there. Each team has one foul at this point. Good ball movement to Robinson. Glenn Rice prize it loose. What a great rebounder he is. Higgins. Bardo on the tap to Hamilton, and here come the Illini. Battle. Griffin up high for the rebound. Slapped away by Battle, but picked up by Rice. Again, I think Illinois, throughout the course of the ball game, wants to make Michigan change the ends of the floor as much as possible. Um, however, if you come down and shoot the ball too quickly, Illinois, you're going to find out that you're going to be playing defense the majority of the game. Traveling indication made by the official. I'm wondering if it was a five-second violation. It looked like uh, Mike Griffin held the ball a little bit too long. Well, again, you've seen enough games to know, uh, Wayne, that defensive pressure doesn't always manifest itself, itself in a steal. Uh, it creates mental pressure throughout the ball game, and you'll get un unforced errors like the one we just saw. Here's Nick Anderson. Kendall Gill off the uh, shin of Mike Griffin. It'll belong to Illinois. Illinois yet to score. Try right there by Gill, and the ball knocked out of bounds. It's going to belong to Michigan or Illinois. They're saying white ball belong to Illinois. Boy, I'd have to see a replay of that. That sure looked like uh, 
the ball was either knocked out of Glenn Rice's hands or the Illinois uh, rebounder grabbed his arm to prevent him from getting the rebound. Off the inbounds play, Michigan plays two types of defense, man 75% of the time. They will use the matchup zone 25% of the time, but they prefer not to. Bardo on the feed to Hamilton, and Griffin is guilty of the foul. First personal on Griffin, that's the second on the team. Well, they've done a good job on two occasions now getting the ball inside the Michigan defense. This is a simple pick and roll, but the simplest plays are, are good for as long as they're executed well, and, and Griffin just gets there a little bit late. Uh, that was a very difficult pass to, to catch, so Hamilton did a good job there. Hamilton about 66% from the line. Two areas of improvement for Illinois this year. Number one, they're a much better shooting team, especially from the free throw line, and they can shoot the three-point shot. Uh, absolutely right. We've got two teams here that can beat you in a lot of different ways at every position. Uh, what we've seen so far in this game, uh, probably just because of the amount of adrenaline that's flowing, we've got people who just aren't shooting the ball well yet. Mills. <laughs> oh, the shooter's touch. <laughs> well, you know, you can't imagine how much strength it takes to just get off a shot after you go up like that and shoot it on the way down. That's, uh, that's an outstanding play. Kendall Gill. There's Hamilton, ever active in the weave. Uh, Michigan now is playing that matchup zone, and this is what Illinois expected after talking to the coaching staff. They thought that Michigan would come out and play zone. Kendall Gill for three. Giving Illinois the lead. Oh, they shot the lights out of the three-point line the other night. Good fast break transition. That's Ramil gonna, Robinson finished it off. Wayne, that's where, that's where the, the balance of this game may lie. Illinois' biggest fear is Ramil Robinson getting the ball in the middle of the court uh, after Michigan breaks defensive pressure because he's the kind of guy who can either take it to the lane and make the play or score it himself. Score it for Nick Anderson. And a foul. on Glenn Rice. It's his first, the third on the team. Well, this is just pure athletic ability. Uh, if you watch Anderson play, his preferences are to get the ball in the wing, either drive it to the lane or drive it baseline and just jump over people. And there isn't anybody in the country who he can't jump over and, and shoot, uh, shoot the, get a shot off against. Uh, you know, it's great to have players who can create offense like that because it takes pressure off of your offensive unit and, and your play execution when you just go out and get a basket with a one-on-one -on -one move. Illinois with the lead. This is Robinson of Michigan. Higgins. He got fouled. Yep, yeah. he got held. Nick Anderson, the guilty party. On Anderson, his second personal already for the leading score and rebounding of the rebounder of the Fighting Illini. There's Lou Henson. When anybody who's watched Illinois basketball this year uh, recognizes what they do defensively. They have such great athletes, they can defend, all of their athletes can defend any position on the floor, and uh, they'll switch uh, the entire ball game defensively. Bill Robinson says score that field goal by Ramil Robinson. He's got a foul down low against Illinois. Lowell Hamilton, I believe. Well, Michigan will get this ball back then and get an opportunity. Get, they'll get another possession. Hamilton picks up his first personal foul. That is the third on the team. We'll be back after these commercial messages. Football fans, get ready for the battle of the century. As unbeaten Budweiser takes on undefeated Bud Light. It's Bud versus Bud Light in Bud Bowl 1. Pick up your official scorecard wherever you see this display. Hey, Bud, super idea. You see the net on that guy? Use it to follow the action and you could win. So get ready, get set. On January 22nd, Bud Bowl 1. This time, it's for real. You hear the thunder? And to the point, it's about power and performance. A hot ride with hot new looks. The dramatic new Grand Am.
was great growing up on our ranch in Oklahoma. And now when I walk into a New York City restaurant and order up a little bitty Kansas City strip, makes me feel right at home. I've got a taste for some real food. There's the Michigan bench, Coach Bill Frieder. His team tied up with the Fighting Illini.